Nidisanji Defense Forces scream at a kid, a Doki Bird editor gets scammed out of money from Nidisanji, and finally, of course, Doki Bird also gets some bad treatment. We have another Niji fan harassing a minor over Twitter. This is a good one. This is going to be an interesting one. This is going to be one where I'm just going to, yeah. So, this person is right here. Good smile company about Nidisanji. I think it was Luca and my Ike Evelyn. Person here says, Adri says, okay, before more people get upset and try to S talk ace with me. This reply was mostly satire. Although I'm genuinely surprised we got these. Stop going after me. I literally don't got nothing against y'all unless if you're annoying or massive POS. If you are annoying or massive POS, of course, I'm going to have something against you too. Let's see what they're saying. Let's see what the Niji Sandy Defense Forces are saying. The X is like, little bro so angry about Luca uh, Nendo's LMFAO. Little bro didn't know they were already in production before the events at JP Companies. Ain't going to give an F about Doki and her BS. Uh, the person saying they're going to buy them and burn them. Okay, buddy. Yes, yeah, spend the money, something you hate. And thanks for supporting Niji. Also love seeing people try to convince others not to buy them. And you just see fans posting screenshots and buying them. Same energy as, as those blanks buying Bud Light uh, and, and then just showing videos of them destroying it over here. It's like <clears throat> right here, just going to gonna put it through. It's like, what is bro even yapping about? Excuse him. Little bro has been dropping his head as I dropped his head as a child. I don't like when people mention that type of stuff. This is one of those like 4chan places. They're not the brightest of people's there. Um, dude is already so dumb. OMG. Anyone ever, ever go boo, go boo them. The fans replies in the comments to the show of support. Uh, she got a clap back so hard. Oof, what's equally as bad as hollow incel? Pick, uh, pick me with no brain. Hollow femcel? Yeah, I mean, this, this type of stuff is just dumb. It's it's too much. I'll be honest with you. It's too much uh, chaos for really any kind of benefit for anybody. I'm going through these quickly because I'm trying to uh, get them larger because some of these are kind of small. And I want you guys to be able to see all the words that are going through. So there we are. Let's take a look at everything. It's like, if you mean it's satire, then don't mind us being satire too. If you have a backbone, how's she going to get the hollow incels except for part of a click now? Ah, people are just like, oh god. Ain't no way she shared the post about asking her followers they should audition for Nidhi Sanji. It's so funny, actual clown behavior. I hope they're embarrassed as F right now. Uh, then going further, uh, you actually deserve that though. Sorry, no non-oomph. I'm going to just mute the whole thing. Too many people crying and blowing up my notifications. Uh, she loved Niji once. I don't think so. She's just a, a, a dumb, greedy one. Glad Selene took these cringe people with her. I actually had to mute the Niji replies. It just goes on and on. Holy crap. Text took a second to consider it and realized you were... Yeah, I actually had to mute the Niji reply thing because the Niji fans were too insufferable. Says She says as if she didn't go there to harass people. Uh, mofos and they can't take it after dishing it. It says this girl who y'all talked about in previous pages is backtracking so hard. I'm really amused at how they get to sweep this under the rug. It's a satire, guys, pretense. Mind you, this is the same person who wrote this to a fan in the original Nendo announcement thread. I hope you know you're supporting an S company. Hope your Oshis graduate and become indies. Uh, is this satire too? That was probably not satire. That's probably actually meant. Uh, anyone got a, a screenshot? Okay, but I love that she thinks she's being attacked. Girl, you posted the comment on an EG post. Of course, you're going to get attacked. I mean, I don't see that. I mean, especially, I mean, if they go personal attacks, that's the thing. But if they just go on based on what you're saying, it's like, I don't think that's right. That type of thing, it's going to happen on Twitter, unfortunately. But if it, if it comes to harassment, uh, you know, epithets being thrown, that type of thing, then that's a big no-no on my part. You all know that. You all know my take on that. I thought for the Niji Sanji fans because I'm actually being harassed. Oh my god. Okay, so hi, my reply started with the whole thing, mainly satire. I didn't put an H or J because uh, I usually don't do that because I thought people would understand. So that's kind of on me. Another thing is the Niji Sisters thing. I kind of want to specify on that. I call Niji Sisters the annoying Niji fans, uh, not just plain Niji fans. So that's why I was calling everyone Niji Sisters because I was being S on by like 10 people at once and they had S comebacks. Another thing I want to be addressed is that you're following AJ thing. Yeah, I follow them because they made good takes when Selene was first terminated. They weren't annoying either, so I follow them. Simple. I'll just unfollow them, though, if people see that as an issue. Also, finally, on the DDK thing, you guys brought in random S into the argument and tried using things from years ago against me. And my point is that Doki is cool. Also, and said... One of my other Oshis said the N-word live without stating who were providing proof. I'm still waiting for context and proof on that one. So yeah, anyways, apologize, uh, I apologize for all the other things I said, so they at least apologize for that. Uh, I'm going to delete them now because yeah. It says, what even happened? Niji and Nendoroids were announced and they made a reply. How the F do we get these considering recent events? And people got mad. Yeah, I stopped browsing through their, their tweets. Uh, they even brought my Oshis into the fight saying they were racist. I have never received any proof of that. Don't worry about it. Uh, they're mad 
that their company gets getting keeps getting mugged. Yeah, a lot of people are mad. A lot of people are just angry. They really had to spend all the time and effort typing that, huh? Now they know what it's like to be attacked by random strangers online. Karma. I wasn't even attacked. It's just fans calling out her BS. True. Sorry for the word choice. Forgot Walmart and Rabbit uh, might just be lurking around here. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, no. Uh, she's being harassed after harassing people. Oh, no. Uh, anti Nijis are starting to become the people who cried harassment hug. Also, click her profile, and the first few posts are about sinking the yacht and boycotting Niji EN or whatever. So, yeah, that's satire too. I love how they experienced a fraction of what Niji Cyber Niji Divers and their fans went through effing crumble. Uh, gelatin type spine, of course, you just, just, just keeps going. Uh, be what you get, not even harassment, such as snowflake. Bet she's counting every anons here as harassers. A joke, okay, they're still being trans blank. While it's also liking posts of blanks being blank and defending use of blanks, believing you're... I have to use a lot of blanks here. I apologize. Love how you took the context of the second pick. Context is key. Using Smith from a while ago about a discussion about a trans person with no sex change being put in jail. Blah, blah, blah. It's best. Yeah, because my, cause my butt has lost like half of my brain cells because of this mf -er. I don't even know how I was being transphobic. I bet they blocked me before I go on full stupid. Adri follows. Following me when you hate needy sisters. Kind of crazy. Like, hell no. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, nothing against you. I followed you because your tweets when Selene was terminated. Plus, you weren't annoying, so I followed you. So I have since then followed you because it seems you don't want me following you, which is fine. Next one. Um, when you followed me, I did you know I was also trans? Uh, it says, I wasn't even trying to be trans blank. Uh, they cut out the context to make me look bad. That's the thing with, with, uh, with the internet. That's the thing with social media. People can uh, spin a narrative and can make even freaking Mr. Rogers look bad. They can make even Mr. Rogers look horrible. Or Bob Ross look like, you know, an R word. Like like someone who is a, a discriminatory against others. Make them look like an ooky. You can do that if you really want to, and if you really spend the time to, you can absolutely do that. Honestly, probably how they win arguments, like I said, it's effing sad. I'm being S on because I made jokes. I'm trying my best to be nice. I've apologized multiple times, but people don't care. So effing, what did I, <clears throat> what did you like do? Do they act like it's a family with someone? Sure, they effed up. It doesn't mean that you're effed up. What if I didn't like their they own own I don't know what that is. Uh, you don't see me essing on them because they like someone different from me. You you literally aren't. Again, we go to these people that are doing more stuff. Reminder: This page is stalked by drama tubers, so stop posting stuff they could use to make a video uh, about children crying crocodile tears. Uh, agreed. I'm glad we all flagged that. In other cases, I think it's fine to ask people help reporting. It's a user actually breaking terms of service, like people actually directing harassing the livers. But it's just if it's just people being dumb, just ignore, mute, or or block. Can you guys stop posting that person who replied in the Nendo tweet? OMFG, you guys are just giving content to the drama channels. Uh, ATP Niji fans harass Mirror over Twitter reply. I can already see the titles now. Learn to accept that from here on out, there will be people who will hate the livers and the company, just as there's always been. They will be upset when they continue to get collabs and merch and opportunities. That's just how it is. But is it that hard to simply ignore people? Out of a sea of positivity and fans, you decide to only focus on the negative reply from a hater for nearly a day and continue to drag this out both here and on Twitter. You're going to badger this person until they apologize or delete their account. Even if they weren't a minor, this would still be completely pathetic and insecure behavior. I agree. Literally, who cares that much on anything, especially when it's a random quote retweet or reply with barely any engagement. And she got a clap back so hard, blah, blah, blah. Oof, that's like, that's like hollow incel and the hollow femme cell thing. So yeah, that's my that's my take on this. Um, It's not that important. It's not that crazy. It's like if if people are attacking your fandom, I can understand the want and the desire to do something against it, to do something about it. But you don't have to. You can just ignore, move on. That's it. Ignore, block, whatever. Move on. Just move on with your life. Have a good time. Have a good day. And just be happy. Do your best to be happy. That's that's what I always try to push, at least. A person here claims that a long delayed merchandise order resulted in a needy Sanji scam. I don't know exactly what they're writing, but here's where we're going to look at it. We'll take a look at this. It says, hi. My name is Jex. I appreciate your effort con contacting us with regards to the status of your dispute case. As I can see here, it shows that the case is already closed in your merchant's favor. The transaction was made on 31st of May 2022, which is already be beyond the time frame in submitting a dispute case. Cases must be filed within 180 days from the date of transaction. The decision to deny was made because the case was submitted after the 180 day deadline. Therefore, we are unable to offer a resolution in toward the matter at this time. We're sorry for any problems you may have experienced with the transaction. To learn more about how your purchases are protected, how we investigate the PayPal buyer protection, simply click legal. And it says, but I need to wait for them to send out around to send it out around the end of 2022. 
to know anything and asked them around the start of 2023 and they said to wait and they didn't reply until October 2023. So how do I even know they're dragging the deadline? They did it on purpose. This looks like this does look like a scam. It does look like they, they, they had a rug pull where they were extended all the way as much as they can into, you know, nothingness into what's happening now. And then um, they were pretty much told, uh, oh, I'm sorry. You know, it was it was beyond the, the date of 180 days. What should have happened, what the person should have done is after like a certain amount of time, six months, whatever, just gotten the 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 money back and then just taking it as a loss because uh, it could be 50 bucks. It could be 100 bucks. It could be 200 bucks. It could have been a lot of money involved in it. Like just take the loss and just move on, you know, just just take the L, move on and um, get your money back when you can. But of course, People are patient. People are sometimes way too patient. And uh, that's what happened here. As expected of the black company, by the way, heard that merchandise contributes mainly to any color's revenue. And with this, they're going to shoot themselves in the foot again. If this keeps happening and this is, this becomes a big thing, uh, people are going to lose the confidence in buying Nidhi Sanji merch. Uh, at least more people are going to be losing confidence. You're still going to have the people who are going to order it and wait a year, two years, however long it takes. When I ordered Kiryu Koko merch when she graduated, it took maybe two months or three months, but I got like continual updates on how everything was going. Like if there was a, a delay, if it, if it was being shipped out, all that stuff, like it took over a week to come in uh, through a boat, I believe they sent it through boat instead of through air, because I got the cheaper option. Because through air for small things, it was gonna be like 50 bucks. And I was like, nah, I'm good. So I took the cheaper option and took a couple of weeks on boat, but I knew it was on the boat, you know? And if the boat company messed it up, then I can go and, you know, with their insurance and do it. If you want the purchase to be delivered, you can ask, just ask for it. Of course, <laughs> yeah, with the Clarence thing. Holy S, right? How didn't I think about that in earlier? Sourced by Zero Kanao on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. As one of Doki's editors, by the way, no wonder this is going kind of viral. Probably I only know that Buyer had a lot of money gone into it. So they spent a lot of money and they pretty much got squeezed toward it. And they, they, they're never going to get it. Then It never got sent to them. This is messed up. Needy scammy. Proof that Rico is so broke right now. It's whatever company that they're working for to um, go through shipping it, go through, you know, go through all that process. Whatever company or organization they're using is not doing a good job. They should fire them and get something someone else. Now, as we all know, Niji Sanji does court uh, the Chinese market. They court it pretty strongly. They are on Billy Billy. They are very, very, very strongly into the Billy Billy thing. Hollow Life tried it and Hollow Life gave up because Hollow Life realized uh, China isn't the best, but of course, uh, Nidhi Sanji still does. Now, what is mentioned down here, it looks like someone is burning Selen Tatsuki, uh, memorabilia. Like they actually bought stuff to burn from her. Um, and it says China audience, those tend to be ultra nationalist nut jobs. And yes, they're overseas Chinese, a second class, third or even fourth class. If she's considered as Hong Konger by the mainlanders, especially since she self-admitted she can't speak Chinese fluently and, and anymore. I can speak suitable enough to type it okay. Ultimately, that's up to her. Even if she has an accent, she's probably even more localized. If you're mainland Chinese citizen and you're overseas, they see you as a liability to be controlled and dealt with. Even like 15 years ago when I was in college, any student who was from there basically acted like a government agent. They got real nervous about the party line and watch each other like hawks for a chance to rat one another out for anything that looks anti-CCP. They always especially seem to resent anyone from Hong Kong due to the freedoms they had and for obvious reasons, they were really essy to anyone that was either from Taiwan or a U.S. citizen born a Chinese expats. So, yeah, Chinese Americans are mistreated. And it looks like Chinese audience are mis are doing this to Doki Bird because she is of Chinese descent. I'm not sure if she was actually born in Hong Kong or anything like that, but I think her family or whatever is from those areas. But let's take a look at what this thing says. It actually says. Let's see if we can actually get it as written. Um, it says here. Selendoki, the host who humiliated China on fire, fingered, fingered his puppet. That just sounds wrong. Uh, wanted to say it's written in, in the introduction. It says, um, the author is prohibited. Doki Selen are two lettered cases from the same person. Doki publicly used the S to describe the Chinese national anthem in a live broadcast a few days ago. You can watch this video to learn more about it. Uh, Oh, and it even puts the actual video numbers at the end. There are also some foreign devils who insist that S can be used as a reference at ask you if the national anthem cannot be referred to in other words you must eat s which is very ambiguous and affirmative it's not a good pronoun 
So isn't it used on purpose? Well, when Selen, I use my experience in China to understand Chinese culture and speak Chinese to flaunt myself, attracting traffic and attracting us to buy again. But now I'm starting to smash the pot after eating. Today, I burned two Selen finger puppets and cursed you not to be the same and cursed the person who forcibly cleansed you to not be the same. I declare that I have no intention of getting traffic. Who would have such poor traffic? And I have not opened a creative incentive. Basically, they're not doing this for clicks, I guess is what they're saying. The video does not have any, the video does not have any income. The purpose of posting this video is just to combat the rare ones who are hard washed and let a few more people who don't understand this matter, uh, understand that don't say that I am involved in the past life. Behind the past life, you are the same fool who insulted China and smashed the pot after eating. You were Selene and then immediately resurrected as Doki. At that time, you were still yelling for me during the Chinese New Year. You are here making fun of and insulting the national anthem. What's wrong with me attacking you even in your previous life? So this is a national. This is someone that is probably in China and probably is is honestly saying these things because, of course, they have to toe the, comp the, the, the party line or else their social credit score will go down. A lot of things can go negative for you if you're in China. So I can understand from that aspect uh, if people are doing this. I'm just curious when the Doki did actually said the S in their anthem. But whatever the question and answers, I think she wouldn't give an S to China anyways, um, you know, that's just kind of, I don't know. I don't know why they're doing this, honestly. Wouldn't put it past people to make S up if they can't find something tangible to hate someone for. They made up all kinds of S around Hachama and Kiryu Koko that they were trying to cause domestic revolt in the communist China for promoting a free Taiwan and disrespecting their wonderful CCP. It seems like they're mad about a part of her stream, uh, her steam sales stream, where she was talking about living in Asia and said that S wouldn't play would play almost every effing day in reference to the Chinese anthem. So she was just saying she was annoyed at it. Oh, so that's what she was saying. She was just saying that she was annoyed at it and that it was just that they were playing that S every single day. So it wasn't actually that she called it S. She was just saying she was playing that damn stuff every day. It was just a, a, a statement that she was making. It wasn't, oh my God, that it was actual S. You know what I mean? Ah, these people are just taking it too far. But I mean, people are going to be that way. And uh, we have to support Doki Bird. We have to make sure that you know, she is good and that she is not necessarily protected because she can protect herself, but that she is well. Uh, Suki no Mito, trust any color, I believe. Needy Sanders are strangers, not friends. As I looked at JP community, as to how, in the JP community, as to how Niji had disintegrated at this point, I discovered that it was this statement by Mito, in retrospect, definitely a gaffe. She only known, she's only known in foreign countries for her early accomplishments, but it seems she was actually a positional figure in any color side. Around 2019, when there was still no Hollow or Vispo, Niji was waging war against Dot Live, Appland, for the ruling industry. At that time, however, there were still many healthy fans of Niji, and many of them justifiably criticized any color. There will the N was then called Ichikata. It was Ichi called Ichikata before. At the time, Mito declared the words of the title: Trust Ichikata. I believe. And she didn't stop there. She said, Niji Livers are strangers, not friends. At a time when JP Livers had been crudely produced and difficult to grasp since that time. Mito then reduced the stream and became a recluse, interacting only with a number of the like-minded livers to this day. As a result, her comments have become the constitution of Niji today, and she has become war criminal who has abandoned her, her position as the face of other agencies, Tokino Sora and Kaga Sisters, and given any color a free hand. It would not be an exaggerated exaggeration to say Miko, Mito abandoned growing up to be the face of another agency and chose lazy stability by being on the side of any color. Unfortunately, she is the one who could not become Tokino Sora and seems to have crashed down to simply one of any color's yes men. Now, I, it, it seems kind of rough, but uh, as seen as there are no comments, it seems kind of rough. It seems kind of like a weird thing to mention and a weird thing to talk about. Uh, a weird thing to kind of posit for people. Uh, I can see the point of not wanting to ruffle feathers too much, not wanting to be in the eye of everyone else. I can see that and uh, I can respect that to a certain extent. Now, I don't know exactly how to feel about this. I know that I can understand that some people are like, yeah, they didn't become Tokino Sora. They weren't able to do this or that or whatever, what, ha what have you. Um, and yeah, there are going to be some people that are going to have an issue with that. There's some people that are going to be like, yeah, you took the lazy way. Someone says, I'll be honest. I also wouldn't want to face a Tokino Sora of a company. That's a lot of pressure. I'd even say Mito doesn't think she's fit to be the Dai Senpai of Niji Sanji. I also think it is important that the time there are no expectations of making friends in the company. Even Hololive Aqua Shion was an oddity. If anyone... <laughs> 
Again, repeating what the person said, I also think it's important that at the time there was no expectations of making friends in the company. Even Hololive Aquashian was an oddity. If anything, joining the company was a fast track to becoming friends with the established late big VTubers. It wasn't until Holo Gen 3 and Holo started the Hey Guys hang out for a few months and figured things out pre-debut and created the familiarity that people describe as friendship. Mito wasn't dictating what Niji wants to become. She was just stating the reality of the time. People finding friends in the company are just kind of inevitable, but if you go into it with the expectation to be everyone's friend, you will be disappointed. I have read that there's a moment when Kuzu had no idea Niji had even existed. I don't know how true it is, I haven't seen clips or anything, but that idea that the idea, the possibility is kind of sad. You think it's the community didn't know TTT debuted? Like you think that they didn't know that TTT debuted? Uh, think how bad it is that their senpai didn't know they debuted. Maybe it was a joke, but we'll never know. As far as I believe in Ichikata, the Niji defenders are right in that how any color conducts business is not that weird in Japan. In show business, really, Pierce Brosnan famously wasn't showed allowed to wear tuxedos in films after he was James Bond. The studio owned the image of Pierce Brosnan wearing a, tux a tux. In Japan, the company owning your voice is not weird if your primary feature is your voice. There was kind there was kind of no reason to not believe this in the company. The main reason, the main problem, however, is that everyone else realized that being a streamer is not in any way similar to a normal broadcast celebrity. Hollow adapted, Niji did not. Ultimately, Mito is someone, not someone to put on a pedestal. She's just weirdo that makes you go, uh, she was the first of many faces, not the captain steering the ship. Could have been anyone looking for a job. That's very true on that end. Uh, people put the beginning people on a pedestal, like, uh, you have, you know, Kizuna Ai, other people who were big during that time, there's someone who was around the same time as Kizuna and I, who are both seen as like the grandfathers or grandmothers of VTubing, as we know it now, with the, you know, 3D VTubing and all that kind of stuff. Tsukuni Mito, part of that. Uh, Tokino Sora is a part of that. You know, people who are the face of the organization for a very long time. You can put them on a pedestal, but realize they are human. Realize that they, uh, a lot of times, don't want to be the pedestal that you're putting them on. They don't want to be that. They just want to create content, and that's it. That's all they want to do. Just create content. Just be content creators, just like I am, just like other people are. And it it puts a lot of pressure sometimes on them to be put on a pedestal like that. Pedestal like that. And that's why sometimes they, they pull back and they just are what they are. You know what I mean? And that's what I want to say on this on this issue as a final word on this one. I am all for loving one side or the other. I am all for you enjoying your kayfabe and enjoying your uh, specific proclivities and whatever you want to enjoy. Uh, but this is just kind of unhinged. In my opinion, again, this is just opinion. This person, Rai, is saying, please sue Dookie Turd, which is, the, it's a childish name, but whatever. Let's just keep going with it for Doki Bird. I asked this yesterday and I just left Twitter like I should every day. Sue Dookie Bird, Dookie Turd already, Pokemon, Za. Basically, this person is just saying the same thing. <clears throat> Didn't she refuse to show proof that makes her accusation unproven? And she sends lawyers to the company to negotiate her being unsuspended without making up for the mistake using the document as blackmail. See, both are true. Uh, she's a false accuser, a blackmailer. See, that's not that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. If there is personal information, she doesn't have the burden of proof here. The burden of proof is, is the accuser, people who are accusing her, the, the company who's accusing her, not her. Number two, uh, like when it comes to they're talking about that big document that says that she supposedly extorted people. She supposedly did this. She supposedly did that. That's what is going on. I don't agree with that at all. I don't. Um, I don't think she's a false accuser. I, I don't. I don't agree with that. I think it's just people, you know, already have it in their heads. Now it says Doki Bird is a false accuser. She's thin skinned, so don't act surprised when she suddenly screams bullying and harassment. Teens for Nessie Cup today. That's Doki Bird. She never screamed that. So, shameless. B is playing. Is pity baiting again, still not showing any proof of her claims. Uh, thank you for everyone for your kindness. I feel that with this new attention on eyes on me, I really wish to direct it something positive. She did it for something positive. And this person is saying pity bucks? No, no, no. This isn't going to her. This isn't something going directly to her. This is this is her doing it for charity. This isn't going to her at all. This is her doing it for charity. This is something different. Translation, I'm carrying to, catering to the Niji hater drama tourists and they give me views before this document is bad. Uh, sound logic and Doki said the truth. No way, need for evidence. Again, against the Press No Sagi in this case. The Press No Sagi, like Rima and Evanstar, they're some of the most even keeled people out there. They really are. And I respect both of them. Lol, imagine actually be leaving her without her showing anything while Niji actually shows receipts. In before, this is a bad move. Contradicts her wanting to move though. All this thing on 14th of February. 
Clearly shook by Nidhi's response. Yeah, that's just weird stuff, man. Nah, bro, you're gonna get attacked, especially after Doki loses the lawsuit. There was no lawsuit. There is no lawsuit because it doesn't make sense. Do I need to say more? This is average Nidhi defender on Twitter. It's funny, but what's wrong with them? How can they act and ignore like Nidhi's a black company? How can they ignore all these obvious red flags? Continuing on, how do they do it? In what kind of bubble does someone need to live for this to be their reaction in Doki Salen situation? I don't get it. Twitter is so full of these people. I have encountered quite a lot of weirdos on Twitter when it comes to Niji, but this dude sticks out a lot. You will see him quite often on anti-Niji memes or comments on the official Niji account, along with some others that stick out a lot. He's also going after VTubers, Fauna, and Hololive, for example. I just don't get it. What do you guys think? Would you want to see more Niji defenders from Twitter so we can roast them? I mean, if they're being dumb, you, they, they, they absolutely a lot, should be roasted. Because it's just, don't co don't let the copium, don't sniff the copium too much. Did we just become best friends? Yep! Trash bag number four joined the family. Here, the copium is strong with this one. Also showing the lawyer paper while having active lawyer case or court case is kind of illegal and will turn your case in the very bad way. Like lawyers say, leave all this stuff as just between you and I. Let me handle it. That's why you're paying me as your lawyer. Let me handle this. Don't be dumb and just try and go out there and try to be, you know, Rambo with this stuff. You know, I'd rather we focus on the company. If you start posting fan BS, they'll probably treat it like the half of the fame uh, or start more drama. True, I can see that point. Attack the company, not the fans, because then they, they start, you know, correct. They start uh, circling the wagon and start, you know, kind of becoming very insular or they start getting very aggressive. That can happen. Refuse to show proof just makes it clear that this isn't even about defending the talents or trying to dismiss the conspiracies, which I'd agree are probably BS, but about dying on a hill to protect the brand they like. You know, I seriously hope this person actually paid to see these things. I would really sadden my heart to think that blind, hateful people like these exist, especially when it seems they're more interested in attacking Doki and supporting their Oshi. Ah, uh, bad down here. Best to ignore that one. They're extremely immature and will try to lure you into an argument that never ends. Just call out what they said, the F and N words, and block them. Proof is below when myself and another guy were arguing with them. So yeah, th these are these are our um, unfaithful narrators. These are people who will just make you go in circles. And it's just, you know, they pretend to be law experts. I'm not a law expert. I'm not a lawyer. That's why I don't say, you know, they could have done this. They could have done that. I say from what I've heard. That's what I always try to use. That's why you always hear me saying well, from what I've heard, because I don't want to be a needy, like, like the needy Sanji sisters where you, you know, you pretend, pretend you know everything. I don't want that. But that's what I have to say about this issue. Real quick, funny, funny. Uh, the someone somewhere, some mad lad somewhere or mad lass somewhere uh, put, OK, which one of you beautiful bastards made this? Kurosan Jien with the Kurosan Jien thing. Riku doing a floss type dance, like a weird dance. You know, that the AI dance that they made him do. It's it's funny. It is interesting to create. But uh, Niji Sanji could very easily make this a trademark issue because of that that specific uh, Pac-Man looking thing. They kind of have it trademarked as their thing. <clears throat> Of course, you don't have the rainbow in there, but it could be uh, seen as an imposter that is close enough to the real thing that they could actually get you. And it will take a while for them to do this. They may not care because it's a tiny channel, but if it gets big enough, it will definitely get knocked down. This here is a question that is related to the way Niji Sanji Libraries have been doing recently of, you know, when they graduate, they lose confidence. They don't feel like they're worth anything if they don't have the company, you know, giving them the uh, the spread that they normally have in the company so of course you know that's not right that's not the way it is but some people feel that way and this person's asking do, do when they graduate do they feel insecure and lose confidence there's many cases when some vtubers who graduated are terminated from an agency join another agency or go indie a couple of months later after taking a long break also known as reincarnation however there are some vtubers that feel insecure and don't have confidence to continue after a certain agency got them robbed of opportunities by their mismanagement and poor treatment of talents regardless of how much impact they made in the VTuber community and how much inspiration and joy they brought to everyone, which is also known as imposter syndrome. Yes, even large VTubers, even large company VTubers can have imposter syndrome. I know Kiara has mentioned that before. I know Callie has mentioned that before. I know other people have mentioned, if I'm not mistaken, other people have mentioned that before in Hololive. I'm just talking about Hololive, not to mention Niji Sanji. There's my Kamiyoshi, who is living the peaceful life but she is insecure and hates herself. She doesn't decide to, she can't decide to continue her VTuber career due to her mistrust of VTuber agencies after they robbed her of her once in a lifetime opportunity. We all know who this is. It was a Metal Gear Solid opportunity and can't decide what to do with her life after she graduated from Niji Sanji. Even though she has a huge fan base dedicated to her and everyone loves her. I wish that she realizes how much happiness and joy she brought 
to me and everyone else. She knows that. She absolutely knows that. I'm pretty sure. She saved me from internal struggles and I want to repay her by supporting her in any way I can. Are those imposter syndrome cases common for every VTuber? And people are saying down here. As far as I know, the talent behind Hollow Liver's Kiryu Koko has never mentioned even ha has never mentioned having imposter syndrome, and neither has the one behind Magni Desmond. And I don't think Sana or Vesper either. If anything, Coco has been very open about still liking Hollow Live and the people inside of it. And even CEO, or rather, she insults him quite a bit. But in a friendly way, she even opened packs of her trading cards on stream and joked about being able to walk into the Hollow HQ to get them signed on multiple occasions. Yes, it was with Kiryu Coco, it was a different situation. She was very, she exuded confidence. But yes, she did also have some moments where she was down, but she exuded that confidence, that strength, that confidence that people have. She exuded that and showed it strongly. And yeah, there are going to be people who have insecurities, like this person mentioned down here. People, Coco did mention having some insecurities, but that was not because of Hololive itself doing anything wrong. It wasn't a major reason for her departure, but was the reason. It was a reason. She said that she was not a singer. She felt a bit insecure as more talented co-workers got opportunities she wouldn't even get even if she didn't necessarily want them. And she didn't want to t that to turn into resentment. She did say she was comparing herself to her peers again and again and again. She was comparing herself a lot. She says, once you get to that point, it's no longer fun and you should leave. And that's what she did. To me, it basically sounded like she enjoyed her performing aspect. She has a, a few concert concerts, but didn't have the aspirations to be an actual idol, which added a stress to... Uh, to a comp competitive situation she wasn't fully invested in but also wanted to succeed because of her pride she wanted to be better at singing she said she sounded like a drugged up mickey mouse you know she said it, she said she sounded like that i think her voice is fine uh she's doing a great job trying to sing she's doing a great job now singing her weather hackers was really good um she did a good job not perfect she's not like like the, the best singer out there but she did like if you see her first shows and then the weather hackers one which was near the end um it is like, holy crap, it's a huge difference because she worked her ass off. And yes, there are going to be people like mentioned here. They're going to be people who are going to have insecurities because they're part of a large organization, which a lot of talented people are a part of as well. And you're like, you have imposter syndrome where you're like, I'm not, I'm not as good as these people. I'm not doing this. Why do they even get me? You have those things happening. And of course, if you're feeling that way, remember, you are your own unique person. You have your own unique talents. Keep going and struggling and fighting and working hard for what you want. Do that. Keep doing that, please. Hello Live and Cover are pretty much showing Niji Sanji how to do things right because they made Hollow Indie, which allows Hollow Live uh, fan creators to make games and uh, make it, you know, with the with the uh, the IP of Hollow Live and be able to monetize it, as in like actually make money from doing what they're doing in Hollow Life. So that's always a good thing. That's always positive and it makes people want to do more so it says when was the last time niji san latest that you seen sanji fan game released wait no how many niji fan games are there so far right here it says cover corporation will be re releasing three new titles under hollow indie after launching hollow parade in november 2023 hollow indie will be sequentially releasing hollow x break wow 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 corona box and miko in magma starting on march 29th so these days these three here are going to be out on march 29th it's going to be something that can be monetized, whether they are free to play or they're one of those gotcha game things that are free to play and then or you actually have to pay for it. it doesn't matter. They can now actually support themselves and support livelihood with this. Nidhi Sanji never wants, never will do this. I doubt they'll ever do this. Honestly, there's an upcoming Selen fan game that are nearly finished, but you already knew what happened to that project. Bit of elbow grease and that could be a doki bird fan game funny the best fan projects and projects in general at niji were related to the organized or, and or organized by selen so selen had the, the closest one to a fan game also all three games are free and can be downloaded via steam we have more members in the devs who are allergic to money i guess yeah a lot of people want to make it free because that makes more 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 downloads more eyes more people having fun with it of course all of the talents are going to be paying for it all of the talents are going to be playing it because it's a, it's a hollow life game pretty much it's it's you know backed by hollow life they are passion projects and the devs would be honored for the talents to play their games on streams there's one more game under hollow life banner and it's paid game but costs only several bucks of course there's also hollow cure as well as an rpg game covering hollow en not advent in other words, there are a decent amount of fan games. Niji, as far as I know, has none. They probably wouldn't allow it anyways. Letting the livers know their worth is the last thing they want. So yeah, people are saying that it's because then people will be like, oh, I'm actually loved. You know, I'm not I'm not a waste of space. I'm not, you know, I like what other people have said when they've left that, you know, they're surprised that they're loved so much outside of Niji Sanji. They won't ha have that experience. And that's always a good thing. And I'm glad that Hollow Life has this. And it's unfortunate that Niji Sanji is 
too brutish on this whole thing. All right, everybody. This is just out of nowhere during Fillion's stream. During the stream with Fillion, she showed a picture of Sayu right here. Uh, Sayu allowed her to show this picture. So I'm going to show the picture because Sayu allowed it. That is something like a pellet from a pellet gun that was lodged into her skin in her buttocks, as she says. And she took a picture to be able to remove it. She removed it with a, a bunch of tweezers, as you can see right there. The tweezers look like they have a little bit of blood on them, but you know, whatever. Uh, that looks like a pellet. It looks like maybe she was walking somewhere and I don't know, some dumb, dumb guy just shot in her general direction with a pellet gun and it got lodged in her skin. That is possible. That is likely. That is crazy. If it's a scab, then God darn it. If she's saying it's a scab, but it looks like a pellet. It honestly, that's my theory. That's a theory. It's a game theory. No, it's my theory. It's not, a, it's not proven. It's not anything she's saying on here. Like she will watch a little bit of it. So chat, she's got a giot, just so you know. Oh, thanks. You like it? Well, I'm not gay, oh. but. Oh. <laughs> so she saw the Gyat too, but that's not the part of it. But yeah, uh, she was saying that, yeah, it's like a pellet. It's like a, she said it's, it's, it's a bullet, but it's not a bullet. It's more like a pellet. Uh, but still that's, that's dangerous to see. It's dangerous to have. I don't know where she lives, where she would have that, but gosh darn it. She needs to be like, I don't know, not be outside at certain hours, I guess. Cause people are shooting things with pellet guns. It looks like, holy crap. And yes, pellet guns can have things stuck in your skin. Don't do it. Thank you so much for being here and for watching this video. Of course, comment down below to let you me know what you think about this. My socials are also there and there's going to be something in front of you on the screen. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Make sure to hydrate. Bye bye.